This tutorial is about how to load your in-game tutorial level only once for the first time. Here I have two scenes, level 1 and tutorial along with a button to go to level 1 from tutorial which has got nothing to do with this tutorial. So create a C sharp script and name it tutorial manager. We need unity engine management to load our desired scenes or levels. We'll be using player prefs which you can think of as data you write on the disk and stays even when you quit your game. If player prep with the name first time doesn't exist or doesn't has a value of 1 or maybe 69 because it's the most loved number according to the survey by www.somemadeupwebsite.com. This means we haven't ever run this game before. So we create first time and set its value to 69. Although Unity writes this value to the disk automatically when you quit the game, but it's a good practice to save it manually in case the game crashes. And if the value of first time is 69, we load a level 1. Here 1 signifies the index of the level 1 in build settings. Attach the script to a game object and click on the play button to run it for the first time. It loads up the tutorial scene as it should and clicking on the button takes me to the level 1. Now when I stop and restart it again, it loads the level 1 since I am running it for the second time. Press Windows and R key to bring up the run dialog box and type in reg edit. Then go to current user, software, unity, unity editor and folder with your project name. And there's our magic number. You can even delete it during your testing period of the functionality. If you like this tutorial, consider pressing the like button and subscribe for more such short tutorials. Also, you can watch my previous 1 minute tutorial about changing gravity in Unity from this pop-up.